Well, everyone, just when you think you've had all the smoothie beers you can handle, you find one more in the back of your fridge. Yeah. That's right, today we have Smooge Tropical Vacation. Now, we've had a couple different smooges on the channel thus far, and they've all been hits. They are hard seltzer smoothies, Mary. This one says lab on it, and it says here, Smooge Lab, this is a trial batch released for your input as we explore new flavors. So at the time, this was something they were considering doing. I don't know if they ever went through with it, but just so everyone knows, this is gluten-free, legit fruit, and dairy-free. 5% alcohol by volume, best by December 2021, so we're almost a year too late. It has been in the fridge, and we haven't gotten sick of having any of these old beers yet, so... Wait, this is a smoothie seltzer? Yes. What? Hard seltzer smoothie. The weird thing about these is they do have nutrition facts on the back, but I recommend you not look at them if you're going to enjoy one of these beverages. That's more sugar in here. I don't know as much as a Coke, but still. 17 grams of sugar, 240 calories. It's like a third of a meal or half a meal for some people in the can. <laughs> so this is tropical vacation. Pineapple puree, passion fruit puree, guava puree, mango puree, cream of coconut, tangerine puree, alcohol, and banana puree. Yes. All the tropical fruits plus a little bit of Tito's vodka. They don't put vodka in seltzers. We looked it up, remember? We did a hard seltzer smoothie and they do... Sometimes. Spike it. It's a malt beverage. But, uh, yeah, so how are you feeling about this? Are you excited? Are you sad? <laughs> <laughs> um, did I have a smoothie with you before? Or was that Belen? I thought you guys uh, did. Belen did one with me and you've done it with me. One with me, I believe. Um, I'm not a big seltzer girl. These are more smoothie beer than seltzer. They're not a big smoothie beer. Alright, so you're scared. Alright, alright. But the flavors sound good. They do, and honestly, all the smoothies that I've had have tasted really, really good. This one should be interesting. I've been shaking it around, mixing it up, trying to get all that fruit inverted off the bottom. Um, we'll continue to do that, and then we'll come back and drink it. Are well, you supposed to do that because it says carbonated water in there? Well, you did say, are we supposed to do that? We're going to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Howell on standby. Oh, yeah. Smoke too soon. <laughs> Smoke too soon. Ah! <laughs> Good thing you got the towel. I'm just here looking at it. Isn't that helping? It looks good. It looks there like a go. tropical vacation. It does. It oh, looks wow. like a tropical vacation. Do you need help? Uh, I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll come back. Well, this smells really tropical. It smells like an armpit. Why? Why is it always the armpits and the plastics and the pens and the non poop things with you? My nose isn't live. What? Alright, we're drinking it now, it apparently. Too it's too cool. Yeah, this head's not going down. It tastes like celery. Yeah, yeah. It's not tastes like celery, it's going to taste like a tropical smoothie. Definitely getting citrus in there. And then a lot of the tropical fruit, a lot of the mango and the guava are coming through for me. The head tastes like celery. And when you get to the actual liquid, hmm? it's not as thick as you think it might be. It's actually really, really thin. I couldn't tell if I was getting it in the liquid or not. I thought you were just chucking it. No. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. It tastes like a smoothie. Yeah, that tastes, it's nice. This is kind of what I've come to expect from smoothie. Yeah, I think it's just the head that tastes like celery. When these were first coming out, they were super hype. They're super hype. But uh, yeah, I don't know what everyone's thoughts are on them now. Let us know down in the comments below. Do you like smooch? Have you had it? 
your thoughts. I mean, this is fine. I don't know. I don't necessarily know if I would put a hard seltzer and a smoothie together because I feel like if you want a hard seltzer, it's hot outside. You want to bring it to the pool. You don't want a chunk. Not chunk. This isn't chunky, but it's thicker. And I don't know if that's the right choice for a hot day. For some people, it might be though. Yeah. Well, you heard it here. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But this is like different than like a blended drink on a hot day, like a margarita or a pina colada. This is a smoothie that will get hot quick and thick and chunky. So that's why I feel like maybe not for a hot day. Uh, well, yeah, but I don't know if you're going to drink this outside necessarily. It could be a hot day and you come inside and drink this after you've been outside. I don't know. I just feel like hard seltzers for me are, let's go to the pool and drink a white cloth. That's because you've been to Vegas too many times. <laughs> Not true, friends. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I agree with that. I wouldn't necessarily pick this for around the pool or anything. But when we're filming this, it's fall, and uh, we're trying to clean out the fridge while we hold beer. I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What do you mean you're not knowing right now? Were you going to rate it at a five? Three. Okay, well, it's higher than I thought you might give it based on your faces. I don't get what these flavors are, though. I'm going to give it a 3.75. It is tasty, but not my favorite um, by them and not my favorite style in general. No, not at all. Not at all. I don't know. I don't know even what to say about this because it's so weird. I think you're just not used to tropical flavors. You didn't have enough of them. I mean, I know what mango and tangerine and banana and uh, what? Pineapple. Pineapple tastes like. Passion fruit and guava. We've had so many beers with those on it. Yeah, those just taste like rockets. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Like, share, subscribe. Mary's going to figure out what all these fruits taste like. Maybe. If you like tropical fruit and you're looking for something that's not a beer, it's not a lager, um, something different, and you're into seltzers and you're not scared of some calories, then check out Smooge if you can. And when you're checking out Smooge, go ahead and tap the bell icon. It'll ring and notify you when we upload new videos. Hmm. But until then, we're the Brewmatures trying every beer and seltzer from around the world. One sip at a time.